Hey, what's up? In the last part, we were able to get our uh, our edit profile fragment all finished here. So we have uh, like an image at the top and then all the details for the profile. Now I want to actually get some images so that I can see really what it's going to look like and make sure that the images are loading properly. So we're, we're going to start by getting an image into our profile photo here. And to load the images, we're going to use an external library. We're going to use the uh, Universal Image Loader. If you guys watch uh, many of my videos on YouTube, you'll be familiar with the Universal Image Loader because it's my favorite thing, my favorite way to load images. I just find it's it's efficient and it's pretty easy to set up. So just uh, type Universal Image Loader like I did in Google and um, we're going to go and grab the dependencies first of all, which are somewhere, probably in Quick Setup. And there's the Gradle dependency right there. So I'm just going to copy that and go to our Gradle app folder. And here, Universal Image Loader, there we go, and sync that. And once that's done, we're going to go into our Edit Profile Fragment. Or actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it Universal Image Loader. Universal Image Loader. And I'm going to use this to initialize Universal Image Loader. Because the way the universal image loader works is it's kind of like it's it has an instance and the instance is you can access it anywhere on the application. So you can just do like universal image loader dot get instance and you can get that particular instance. So we can just set a bunch of settings one time and then it will be sort of app wide. And we're going to set a default image just to start. Oh, whoops. Uh, Android. Drawable, I see Android will be our default image. And we need to get the context. And then we need our default constructor. And so now we'll do public image loader configuration. And I'm going to go get config. And this is where we're going to set all the settings for the universal image loader because like I said, it works on an instance basis. So I can just set the settings once and then it'll be set for the whole time the app is running. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be getting this from the GitHub page in case you're wondering, let me just pull it up. So if we go back and we click on configuration here, this is how you configure it. So you, d you declare an image loader configuration, config, and then these are all the different settings that you can set. So I'm going to set a bunch of settings and you can copy them if you want or you can change them and tweak them however you like. So this is this is just kind of what I'm following right here. So uh, you know, display options and then default options we'll call it equals new display options dot builder and then we can do dot show image on loading and that's where we're going to put our default image default image and then dot show image for empty URI we can put our default image and th this is just what's going to show if for some reason the image uh, is unable to load for whatever reason that's another great feature of the universal image loader it can handle it can handle null inputs basically so if for some reason I pass it a null input or uh, I query the database and nothing's found it will just load a default image which is always nice. Whoops. Dot cache in memory, true. And dot cache on disk, true. Dot reset uh, view before loading, true. Image scale type, uh, image scale type exactly. And then displayer, new fade in bitmap displayer, and dot, whoops, dot build. Okay, so th these are just the settings that I'm going to choose. Um, they're good for, I think they're good general settings, so copy them if you like or tweak it if you uh, want to tweak it. And then we need uh, image loader config, config, image loader configuration, and then builder, pass the context, oh, that's why, there we go, uh, dot default 
display image options and then we pass our default options that we declared up there and then memory cache new weak memory cache and disk cache oops disk cache size and we'll do 100 by 124 by 124 and then build and then we want to return that configuration there we go so that's that's basically the image loader setup that we need to do now i'm going to create a static method for setting an image so this is only going to be good for if we're setting like a single image on a layout uh, i don't have uh, an emulator running but if you have like a grid of images or a list of images you're not going to want to use this set image method you if it you have a single image that's where you, we're going to be able to use this uh, static uh, method here. So it's going to save us a little bit of time in some situations. So public static void and do set image. And it's going to take an image URL. It'll take an image view widget. And we're going to have a progress bar for loading the image. Uh, M progress bar. And we're going to have a string at the end here. Whoops. Progress bar. And I have a string at the end here because of the different file types that an image loader can take. So if we scroll down on the image loader GitHub page, you can see that you can submit all these different types of URLs. So like that one's obviously from the web. This is from uh, memory. Um, that is also, f oh, that's from a content provider. Um, this is from assets. This is from Drawable. So the way that I'm going to do this is I want to do it in a general way. So um, the, the string URL here, what I'm going to pass is going to be whoops is going to be like like I would pass it this and then append in this case would be http uh, colon slash slash that way I can submit different file types and it will work generally in all cases so if I had if I wanted to submit an image from memory I would submit that as the image URL and then I would submit this as append so that's just kind of what we're going to do right here. And then we get our image loader here. So image loader equals image loader. This is where we get the instance. And then I can do image loader dot display image. And that's where we're going to do append plus the image URL and then the image and we can do new image loading listener and then we can do some stuff with the progress dialog so um, I don't want it to work in all cases I want to be able to pass it a null progress bar if I want so I'm going to do a little logic to handle that so if progress bar does not equal null then we can do progress bar dot set visibility view dot visible because this is when loading is started, so we want the progress bar visible in that case. So just copy that, and if loading fails, then we want the progress bar gone. If loading is complete, we want the progress bar gone. And if loading is canceled, we want the progress bar gone. So visible, gone, gone, gone. And that should be pretty much it. I just want to write a few little notes up here. so. This method can be used to set images that are static. Can't be used if the images are being changed in the fragment Oops. Slash activity or if they are being, s being set in a list or a grid view. Oh, let's say grid. Cool. So that should be it for our universal image loader class. We can actually close that. And now I want to set that image for our uh, our activity. No, not our activity profile. For our edit fragment, edit profile fragment. This guy right here. So let's go into um, edit profile fragment and let's create a method for doing that. So private, and this is just going to be temporary. It's just to make sure that like the image loader is all set up correctly and we're actually able to display images. So I'm just going to go set profile image. 
And I'm not even going to pass it anything because this method isn't going to be here forever. And I'll just create the image view widget. Uh, I guess I could create it up here because we we will actually use an image view widget of it eventually. So uh, I'll just do profile image. Or let's do m profile photo. And then m profile photo equals image view. And we gotta do view, find view by ID because we're in a fragment. And what is the name of this thing? Oops. So center edit profile, center edit profile. Um, that's the name right there, profile photo. Let's go back to the fragment and profile photo. And now I need a URL for an image. I'll just grab something from the internet just because it'll be faster. Let's go, let's type Android, looking for an image. Uh, I don't know. Sure, that one's kind of cool. View that. Uh, and just highlight the URL, copy the URL. And I'm gonna go string image URL equals the image URL. And then I'm gonna go universal, universal image loader, image loader. Oh no, no, it's static, so I don't need to declare the object. I can just go set image to access that set image method that we created. And then here I'm gonna pass the image URL, and then here I'm gonna pass the, uh, the widget, and the progress bar I'm gonna set as null. Like I said, I wanted to be able to set that as null. And in this case, we don't have to append anything, because if we look at the universal image loader documentation, you can see if it's coming from a website, you just gotta submit this, and uh, the URL has the HTTPS, so that's good. Alternatively, I could do that and then submit append as that. That would also be fine. I'll, I'll do that just to show um, how it works. So set profile image. So that will set the profile image, but before we do that, we need to actually initialize the image loader. So I'm gonna create a method for that. I'll go private void init image loader. And uh, this is, you can get this all from the documentation. So if you go to uh, Universal Image Loader, uh, let's go to the page. And if we go to Quick Setup, and scroll down here, you can see we need to initialize it just like this. So we go, we get the image loader instance and then do dot init and get the config. The config is what we'll get from the method, from the object class that I made. So if we look at the Universal Image Loader here, this that's going to be this config right here. So we'll universal image loader, universal image loader equals new universal image loader, and pass the context, and then we do image image loader dot get instance dot init, and then here we do universal image loader dot get config, and that's this this is going to retrieve the configuration uh, right here. So it's going to run this method right here or this method right here. And then we need to make sure we initialize before we set the image. And that should be good. So let's run that. Then we'll go to the profile and click the menu, add a profile. And the image is not loading. You can see it's loading that default image, which is good, but it doesn't seem to be loading our image that we want. So let's take a look here. Oh, we don't have the internet permission. Okay, so let's. Uh, head over to the manifest and do uses permission internet and that should be good let's rerun it again go to the profile click the menu go to the, and there we go we have our image coming through cool so now we know the image loader is set up correctly um, now in the next one oh that back arrow isn't set up so we need to set that back arrow up too and the next one we'll get that back arrow going and uh, we're going to work on, I'll, I'll get an image displaying in the profile, and we'll also work on populating the grid view with images. So I'll see you guys in the next video.